Tribe Gaming Podcast on. My city. Podcast on. Hello and welcome to Girl Tribe Gaming, a podcast mostly about video games. I'm Zen. And I'm Jen. And welcome to episode eight. Now, honestly, Zen and I, we usually have a pretty good outline of what we're going to talk about, but today we crazy. So (laughs) (laughs) we're going to talk about, you know, kind of like what we've been up to, and then we're going to start, we're going to do, it's kind of like a pre-E3 show. We want to talk about everything E3. So anyways, who knows what we're going to talk about? Zen? Well, I guess we can talk about first what what we've been playing. Yeah, what I what haven't been playing a whole lot new. Um, been playing the trials and a little bit of Call of Duty, Ghost. Uh-huh. But I also Gamefly sent me the game Remember Me for the Xbox 360. Right, I remember you telling me that. How did that go? It, it was something I was really looking forward to because of the game, mm-hmm. the the story, and the story was really interesting in the beginning. But the gameplay, the I just beginning. could not get oh. into. Like, it just seemed so clunky. Yeah. And the fighting mechanism, I just wasn't enjoying. And building your com, you could build like your combos up. Uh-huh. And I just wasn't getting into it. I just, it's oh. one of those games I wish I could just watch the story. Right. I, I remember, you know, when they were, you know, talking about that game before it came out. And I thought, oh, that looks so cool. But yeah, it's an interesting. It's of the whole. It's a company that pretty much can save your memories for you, right? So that you can. It sounds like you can. So you can download them and transfer them, kind of like that TV show Dollhouse. Yeah, I love yeah, that show. So, um, or like Total Recall. Did I haven't you, seen that one. You haven't so seen I that have movie? Oh. No. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry. Yes, I have. It's good. Yeah. So it's like that whole world and ah. idea. And the character you play is a memory hunter. That's um. See, that sounds so cool. Yeah, it's it but sounds great. It just didn't translate. To me, I didn't care for the gameplay. Oh, that's but, why so I, I didn't tried do that. Well, that's I what guess. I've been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been playing Watch Dogs though. That's yeah. pretty current. Versus Remember Me. Yeah, that Remember Me is pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yesterday I was just crazy excited, you know, for Watch Dogs, and I started streaming that on Twitch a couple times yesterday, and I have to say I really like it. I bet yeah, I've been watching. I don't, I didn't buy it. I know, and that's I think that surprised you because usually I go well, and buy things. When well, I, say I didn't. Not gonna buy it. In all fairness, I didn't tell you. Oh my god, this is so awesome! You have to go have it right now. You have to go get it. No, and I, I watched some Twitch channels in the morning mm-hmm. um, before going to work that the day it came out, and I wasn't sold. Yeah, I and mean, I'm still not sold. I just, I guess, I don't. I don't think it's I don't a game see what's so you. exciting about it. It just looks, it looks boring. It's not boring though. I, you know, when you're watching on Twitch, you're not fully immersed into it. Uh-huh. You know, so you're you're walking around, and yes, you have your cell phone out, and. Uh, you know, you're spying on conversations, you're hearing little bits and pieces. Of course, you know, I'm still money every chance I can. <laughs> um, yeah. You can steal money from everybody, like just humans, or like, can you steal it from like pop machines and everything too? You know, I haven't seen me be able to like hack a vending machine because, uh-huh. you know, that's mostly done in change. But uh, ATMs are a fair game. <laughs> so, hmm. but you know, I just... I know a lot of people aren't, I don't think they're real, I think they're comparing it too much to Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I mean, it does, It it's in that whole realm of the Grand op- Theft Auto and Saints Row and yeah, I mean, like that's the sandbox what they're open. going against, the sandbox, yeah. Yeah, so, but it's different. I'm like, one, in Grand Theft Auto, the shooting sucked. I hated okay. trying to shoot in this. It's good. Like, you're supposed, I think... You're supposed to try to be all stealthy using the technology to get where you need to go so that you mm-hmm. don't even have to shoot your gun. I know uh, Lost, you know, one of the GTG girls, 
she said uh, last night that she had yet to fire a bullet out of her gun. And I was like, is now is that an achievement she's going after? No, I that's okay. just her style. She's real stealthy. I'm not. I'm impatient. I will say like this one particular part, uh, I was able to like hack cameras and then, you know, like these guys are walking by and I was hacking things that they were exploding and killing them. And I was just I really enjoyed it too much, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then I failed, you know, I, I, I screwed up and then I died and I had to do that same scene again. So then another mm -hmm. time what I did is I set off a car alarm. I hid behind a box or something pulled out my pistol with a silencer. And as the guys started running out, I was just like, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> bye bye head. And it was so, so fun. <laughs> does it make the car alarm go off? Did you use your cell phone? Yeah, I used my cell phone and hacked a car. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I want to try it. Mm -hmm. But like you said, I just don't think it's the game for me. Yeah. I mean, there's some puzzles and stuff here and there like, Got to use a little thinking to get, you know, things done. It has a little bit of a an Assassin's Creed feel to it at times. Mm -hmm. um, like with the towers that you, you take over and things like that and some of the movements. But I guess it kind of makes sense since it's from, they're both from Ubisoft. So, you know. so there was so much hype behind the game. Do you think it was, did it live up to all that hype? Uh I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's really hyped up. And I don't... It's, it is, yeah, it's wild how... Um, uh, I'm not developers. Um, yeah, just the community in general. The com yeah, how much hype some things are getting, like Titanfall and everything. And we're all... I don't know what we're all expecting, but... I know. I do think... I'm, I'm, I've only put five hours in, but I, I okay. can see me putting a lot of time into it. And then the whole, well, you, you were on my stream when I got hacked by a real person. Yeah, that was cool to watch. Yeah. That almost had me sold on the game. Oh my God, I panicked. What do I do? Where are they? Where do I go? Oh no, no, they're hacking me. Ah! <laughs> and then, yeah, they won. But then I went and hacked somebody and the first guy caught me pretty fast. I was like, oh man. And then that second person, I was able to kind of, I was better at blending and avoiding their you know line of sight and that was fun yeah. that made it so what makes it so on a different level than grand theft auto well like one, besides the hacking or the, like, well the story the, the story the premise the, of the game is what is different. it what is the premise like whatever like i guess i don't see the main character having any personality yeah, so far that's one negative thing. I don't feel like they've done well with character development. The campaign part of it, I just don't know. I mean, I'm not that far. I've only done a couple missions because I keep getting distracted with all these side projects, saving people. But, you know, I don't know. I haven't seen you save a cer anybody in your stream. You're well, punching yeah. people. <laughs> well, <laughs> and Or I'm shopping. So that's the other oh, thing. Or you're shop clothes. shopping, yeah. You yeah, spend I hate that you only get have one outfit. <laughs> one outfit, and you can change it a million colors, but it's yeah. the same outfit. I blew all yeah. my money. Yeah, I, when I turned on your stream the other night, you were shopping, and <laughs> you spent all your money right away. And I, I just started cracking up. But I had like $6,000. Ah. I'm like, ah, I'll turn this off. Oh, I don't like that color. I don't like that. It's an interesting game. I don't. It'll be interesting to see once I get more time into it, how it really yeah. is. And then, you know, there's the whole multiplayer stuff that we haven't done. Yeah, you, I've you been know? watching a few people play that. And it's just, I, mm. I'm just not in, I'm not into what it would, I guess it would be a third person shooter. Yeah. But I just, I you play Mass Effect, that's a third person. Yeah, but I love Mass Effect. I will say the graphics are really good on it. Yeah, I'm, I I'm not. I'm too, not sold. I just I'm not can't. I'm just sold. not Their sold. Their music, the music choice. They it's, they clearly did not ask me. Oh, <laughs> not good. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm hack. I hacked some people, and I think I unlocked more music. So maybe I'll unlock some good songs. But so far, I've been muting it. Hmm. So it's. I'm interested to see what their DLC. You know what? What kind of DLC they come out with? And yeah, I'm how, not going to buy the season pass. At least. I want to see what it's going to be because Ooh. I don't know. We'll see. But um, 
<laughs> I've only played it five hours. I'll let you know next time what it's, uh, how if it's really worth it or not. How's that? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, you don't need to make a call. Yeah, but right Either. now, if I had to like rate it, you know, on the whole buy it, rent it, or forget it. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm saying buy it. Okay. Oh, I know. I, I'm know, gonna rent. I'm gonna try to rent it. It might yeah. take Gameplay a month or two, but <laughs> I <I'll> rent it. <laughs> So, uh, E3. Yes. So, uh, for people don't, that don't know, E3 is this big gaming expo. It happens every year. You know, all the major developers and gaming companies come out and they show off all their new stuff that they're planning for the next year or two and show it all off. Look at me. Yeah. But you know what? I, I actually went to one E3's in. It was... A long time ago. I How remember, long ago? Um, in the nineties. I know that it was. I think it was. Uh, oh, what was the big game that year? A uh, PlayStation had. What was their big game? Tomb Raider. Oh, no, that year. Oh, I remember Nintendo sixty four was big. Spyro. That year. Um, that what's that game on Nintendo Crash. with the with no. the fox? With the, f oh, God, uh, Sonic. No, no not no, that's Sonic. not Nintendo. I'm getting no, all over the place. That's there. Sega. The fo Fox. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, Fire. Uh, his last name's McCloud. It is? Yeah, I think Star Fox. Star Fox. Star Fox. That was the big game that year for Nintendo 64. So that's how long ago it was when I went. Wow. It was that like, a long time ago. oh, my. It was like gamers heaven. When I went, now it's more for the press. Um, but yeah. you, at the time, if you worked in the industry, you could go. And I just remember I was there nonstop. And you know me, I got to eat every four hours or I get all crazy. I don't even know when I ate. I lost 10 pounds in three days because I was just consumed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you that know, is cool. It's, it's kind of like how I, I, when I went to PAX that time with you guys, Oh, just man. being immersed with all those people that have the same passion as you it's like mm -hmm. wow. yeah and take packs and multiply it back then e3s were just huge man. So, so uh oh. so this is going to be that's the thing too back then it wasn't aired online you couldn't really watch them you just oh had my to gosh, i love what xbox is doing with the last e3 yeah how they had like it was kind of like an interactive e3 and i'm pretty sure they're doing that again Mm -hmm. um what is that june 9th which yeah. is a monday so june 9th yeah xbox will have their presentation at 9 30 a.m pacific standard time so that'll be what noon for you zen on the east coast yeah i'll be at work but they streamed it you could watch it when you get home so i'll have to do that yeah they'll they'll be streaming it live on x on your you know your console or uh, xbox.com or you can watch it from your windows phone and then you'll be able to watch the stream later once it's over. I think it took like an hour or two, and then it was up last time. Yay. Yeah. Um, let's get into the games now. Yeah. Like, some of these games are rumors, or, you know, they're, they've are they been announced that they will be showing at E3. But we'll just start off at talking about Destiny, since we're both super excited with what yeah. Bungie is doing. What's funny, Zen, is that we're both so excited for Destiny, I think because it's coming from Bungie. Yeah, I love Bungie as a I developer. Know. They just seem to get the community and care yeah. about their community. But what's funny is that we're so excited, but honestly, we don't know a whole a lot about it. No, I, like the gameplay I've seen is just like, mm, okay, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. They, they look cool. Like, yeah, you know, they look kind of like they're out of Star Wars. Star Wars meets Halo. <laughs> you know it's like uh, Bungie leaves Halo behind <laughs> yeah and you makes know it's a new sci-fi shooter <laughs> yeah so from what I've read uh in Destiny you are a guardian of the last city on earth okay mm -hmm. you're able to wield incredible power yes I'm are you reading that. do you know if we're human or we're, are we still well, human I'm not sure. I think you have three different classes that you'll be able to choose from. I really haven't looked too far into it. Um, 
but you'll be able to explore the solar system. So you'll go to the red dunes of Mars, Mars, Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Uh, and then, then you'll go to jungles on Venus. And I don't know, it sounds cool. So they say it's a first person action shooter. And they're saying that it's going to be like this amazing combination of storytelling and then cooperative, competitive, and public gameplay. Oh, I, I'm just, I'm in my mind, they are going to do what we love in Defiance. Yeah, I feel like they're going to do it like, right. Yeah, they're going to take that to like the next level. Um, and they're saying that like all these experiences, whether it's cooperative, competitive, or in the public, that it's seamlessly woven into your experience in this ongoing, persistent online world. So sounds like an MMO type thing to me. Yeah, yeah, uh, def- yeah. And it's a, it's maybe it's that I'm so excited about this because because I trust Bungie and what they can do. Agreed. And their visions as a as a developer. Yeah. I mean, if anybody can pull it off, I believe Bungie can do it. Yeah, I agree. I think their like attention to detail and quality mm-hmm. will help it. Um now, um, Zen, sometimes, you know, you like to game with your friends or randoms, some people like mm-hmm. that. And then sometimes you just like to play by yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, like you just want to chill out. And it says that, you know, it's your choice whether you want to play alone or join up with friends or random people. You know, it's all up to you. So you don't have to feel like, oh, I'm playing this. Now I got to, you know, talk to people. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a, and so maybe it won't be like Defiance where you spawn and then you look around and there's this other dude walking around next to you. And it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Who the heck are you? Get away from me. Yeah. I, I, you know? I've played so it's, much Defiance. I've loved that game. <laughs> I see. I, 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 you know that I didn't. It's, I like the idea of the game, though. So Yeah. Um, uh, so I was looking up a little bit about this game, though, uh, Zen. And this, mm-hmm. I think, is going to hook you. Okay. Okay. This is bad because it's like one of the dumbest things, but you know how you like to customize characters. Yes. Okay. I do too. Like, we're very girly that way. I know. It's weird. Well. <laughs> <laughs> because we're not that girly. You know what I mean? No. I got it. Yeah. But in the games, we're like, oh, I want to. Okay. So they said in this, you can personalize and upgrade every aspect of how you look and fight with nearly limitless combinations of armor, weapons, and visual customizations. I want to be looking good on that battlefield yeah. and people know who I am. Yeah, and when they I enter they, the battlefield, they'll be like, that is zen. <laughs> yeah, and they said that like any customizations you do will carry on no matter what mode you're in, whether you're in the campaign or like cooperative or competitive. So mm-hmm. that's thinking, awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. I, and you are you are right. That is like a nice little cherry on top of <laughs> I mean, I honestly don't know what's going to I don't know what I'm going into with this game, but yeah. I'm freaking excited. I mean, you remember so. you remember the first time we could customize Halo armor. We were all like oh my God. giddy about it. And it was like just changing like the whole over like the color and adding mm-hmm. a secondary color. Right. <laughs> To a male, you know, male avatar. And then body. when we got to be a female. Uh, oh, yeah. And that was revolutionary like, to us wow. back then. <laughs> oh, I just, I just, that's so exciting. Speaking of Halo. Yes. Um, so I, I, it's still a rumor, but they have mentioned that there was going to be this Master Chief HD collection released on the Xbox One, which would be Halo 2, 3, and 4? Were they going to? Are they going to include one? I'm not sure about that. They because, might be. You know, they made bet, it. Yeah. They made it for the 360. So I bet you that it wouldn't be. That I bet much you they work. would release yeah. one, two, three, and four before we head into five. Yeah. Because five will be next year. They've already announced. Yeah. So we got some time to wait for Halo 5. But I would love if they just released just, you know, Halo 2. I would be so happy oh, if I that know. was on Xbox One. We love that game. Uh, we mm-hmm. talk about it a lot, a lot still. Yeah. And it, like you you uh, you mentioned that it'd just be nice to get refreshed on the story. 
Yeah, yeah. Because honestly, I forget. I forget. I play something <laughs> and it's out of my brain. You know, some people can be like, oh, yeah, in this year, Master Chief did this and saved the world. <laughs> and then this happened. And I'm like, who is that? I don't even know. Yeah. I mean, I know who Master Chief is. <laughs> yeah. So it, that would be an awesome. Yeah. Uh, that would be great if that's something they come out and announce. You think they'll gonna be on the Xbox? Huh? You think they'll add any multiplayer to that? My guess is, is that they'll have, you can buy this full collection mm -hmm. and it will have one multiplayer. That would be, it'd be cool if they like pulled in some of the best maps over the years. What's your favorite map? Oh man, probably Lockout. Yeah, Lockout or Zanzibar. Zanzibar. I, I love a sunny day on Zanzibar. Yeah. We have a <laughs> lot of memories on Zanzibar. Lockout. Lockout yeah. was like lockout. the original Laco. I don't want the remade Laco. Yeah, I like the original Lockout best as well. Yeah, we don't let's not let's just go back to the original. A lot of you know, the Halo jazz it up maps. a little bit. Yeah. You know the newer maps. I haven't been too much of a fan of the newer newer Halos. They just kind of generic feeling. Yeah, I mean they're okay. It's it's more so I think I I get caught up on the memories of Halo two and three yeah. versus, but and we got into Call of Duty. I know Call of Duty did kind of. So <laughs> speaking of Halo five, I what we know so far it's called Halo five Guardians. Yes. And I'm not sure if that's official, like if it's officially Halo 5 Guardians. I think it's official. It's what they, they did like a press release oh, a couple weeks ago and they called it that. So, And I was reading that um, the Halo 5 is the first Halo to be built on this new engine. Oh. So it, that is going to be interesting too to see what they, where um, 343 Industries takes, where they, what they do with Halo now. Yeah. Since Halo 4 was their first take at a Halo game since yeah. Bungie left. One thing I do like is that they're not trying to pop a new one out every year. They take their time. So mm -hmm. hopefully by you know having some time since Halo 4 and learning from that and whatever they do for next gen, I'm hoping they do a good job with it. Yeah, I think they will. Yeah. Uh, did you see that uh, image they released of the Halo 5, the Halo 5 Guardians, where it had it, like a Master Chief and then like a reflection of another Spartan? Um, I might have seen it. Let me see. I have this picture. Okay. I didn't look at it that close. So at the top, and then you have the reflection below? Yeah, I think the reflection below is Master Chief. Oh, so and the other reflection is some other Spartan. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, like, in the picture, if you zoom in on that other Spartan. Yes. There's a little icon on his chest. <gasps> what? And the icon on his chest is supposedly the logo from the Naval Intelligence. Uh-huh. From Halo. Uh-huh. And in Halo 4, those guys are, the, the Naval Intelligence are the ones that um, captured... Dr. Halsey. And uh, so are they bad? I don't know. So that's interesting. It's like, who is this Spartan? Is it male? Is it female? It kind of looks like a female Spartan. It does in some sense. It's the armor is just really thin. We'll post this picture on the, uh, uh, the episode podcast notes. Hmm. Interesting. It makes it. Yeah. It's interesting. And in the, the guns, there's the battle rifle and the right. assault rifle, so we yes. know that they should be returning. I would hope so. I would hope so, too, but it's good to at least see a familiar gun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, that. what is your all-time favorite Halo weapon over all of them? The Needler. Wait, is it the Needler or when you could have dual Needlers? Dual-wielding Needlers. Oh, yeah. Dual-wielding Needlers are dual powerful. I know. I just remember laughing. Just, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Just like, just like ding, 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 ding. Oh. The needler. How about you? I really like the uh, the pistol from the original. And then. Oh, that was so powerful. Yeah. And you could zoom and everything. I just pop, mm -hmm. pop, pop. I just like that. <laughs> and the, I love the sniper rifle in Halo. Yeah. For some reason, like how you can see the, the trail of the bullet. I don't know if I, I can. I remember that. that. And I, I remember the sniper kill with. 
in Halo was for some reason the most satisfying sniper. Yeah. Killed. I've never been very good at it, but I kind of think I might be better now. I'm, I think I'm a better gamer than I was when we used to play Halo 2. <laughs> hmm, we will have to find out when Halo 5 comes out. <laughs> yeah. So and another game I was reading about was uh-huh. the Gears of War. Okay. Which I don't think it's going to be at E3. It's not. Or, or maybe it's not announced. Maybe it's like one of those people are hoping to be right. at E3. That would be interesting. I mean, the last one didn't really catch me, but at, in general, I love Gears of War. Yeah, and it, it's the. You're right. The last one, the judgment lost me. I lost faith in everything in that <laughs> whole developer. But if I'm right, I believe it's a new developer, yeah, the Black Tusk Studios. Mm-hmm. And they came out and said something really strange that threw me for a loop. They said, we're going to have to betray our current fans so that we can come out with something new and, and you know, exciting. That sounds and I said, dramatic. Holy smokes! Betray? You're saying that you're gonna betray. What are you gonna do? I don't know. But it made me so excited because I was like, okay, I don't like what was happening, and if yeah. you have to reinvent yourself to become something more, but go why, for it. <laughs> I mean, why not just come out with a new game then, like a whole new game <gasps> instead of just rehab? You know, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a Brand new identity alien race you're fighting. Or something. Because hmm. it felt like we were fighting the same things over and over and over. We and in were. Halo, you were fighting the Flood. You were fighting the Covenant. You were yeah. fighting... I, uh, not the Pro, was it the Protheans, Protheans or was that Mass Effect? No. Well, yeah. That's Mass Effect. No, no, no. No, it was it was in Halo. Okay. They had some of the same names between Halo and Mass Effect. So that... Okay, yeah, that's I always get confused on those guys, the Mass Effect. But see, now I'm getting confused with um, a TV show, uh, Orphan Black. And okay. they've got these uh, pro, uh, Prolethians. I don't know, it's just all these words. <laughs> <laughs> By the oh, way, yeah, that's an confusing. amazing show. You've got to watch it. I know. I watched, epi- I watched one episode and it was, it was good. Yeah, that chick is bad. Yeah, cool. <laughs> cool story. Yeah, that's definitely worth watching. It's on yeah. uh, Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely watch that. Uh, so what other games are you looking forward to, Zen? Uh, well, of course, the the Call of Duty. I want to oh, see yeah. more on the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because we know a little bit. Right, from the trailer. I'm hoping yeah. to see actual gameplay. Yeah, multiplayer. Multiplayer. I, honestly, the campaign... I'll play it for the achievements, but it's mostly about the multiplayer for me. Yeah, I want a, I want a good campaign, though. I mean, I do, too. But, you know, you could play Wolfenstein. That's a good campaign, first-person shooter. I've re- I've almost finished it. It's really good, Zen. Really? Okay, yeah. I want to... I, that's on my next on my game fly. Yeah, and you can rent it. I was debating it. on what uh, to try to get, but I'm going to try Wolfenstein. And depending on how busy you are that week, my guess is you mm-hmm. could probably finish it in a week. Okay. If you get obsessed, you could play it faster. How long, how much game time have you been in for the campaign? Oh, I didn't, I haven't kept track. There's 16 chapters in it. I know that. And I'm on chapter 14. Okay. Um, And I've played it like three or four days quite a bit. So... And you can go faster if you're better. I kept dying in a couple spots. So, like, okay. like super. It's, I was like, ah, wait, till you, wait till you get to chapter 12. I glance <laughs> over and I see the part that I was at. And I was like, hee, hee, hee. And then I look over and she's past it. And I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> and you just continue, continue on. Just forget it. Yeah. Don't even talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a good. For, I know how you, you know, want to try new games and stuff i would you would like it is there is there a kill streak reward that um has been taken out of the call of duty multiplayer that you would want back Ooh. i know i just i just thought of that i was like or well, maybe is there something new you would love to see i know it's dumb but uh-huh. i, I kind of want uavs back the satcom we gotta drop it on the ground I yeah, know. I can see that. The SATCOM's weird and how you need sometimes multiple ones going to do anything. Yeah. 
I guess that's teamwork for you. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss I miss care packages. Well, you can't care. Being pack- able to call that you have to go get that suitcase and everything to get a care package now. Um, and call it a ghost. And when you used to be able to, in one of them, you used to just be able to get a care package after getting so many kills. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I kind of miss that. Yeah. It's, I guess that's one thing. And I would love my Type 95 gun back. Oh, yeah. You know <laughs> I got it. I started getting into that ga- gun late on, later on. And that it was the three burst, right? Yes. Yeah, I started getting into that gun, and and then I've switched since then. So, <laughs> have you um heard anything about the new Assassin's Creed? No, but that's on my list of things I want to see. Do you? I n- I don't know a whole a lot about it. I don't. And either. I'm not. I'm not an Assassin's Creed fan, but but what I was reading it was Assassin's Creed Unity. Yes, and it's taking place in Paris. Okay, that's, and that it was going to be released in two parts. Two parts. That's that could be a rumor, mm. but it said Unity will be for the Xbox One and the PS4 and possibly a uh, PC. When the second part was going to be Comet, and that was for the 360 and the PS3. Mm. Now, if that's true, and if they're different, or how they're different, I don't know. Interesting. So, yeah. So that's that should be interesting. I bet you we're going to hear more on that at E3. For sure. Yeah. yeah, I always love Assassin's Creed. I know you're not a huge fan, but ooh, what nope. about what about Far Cry Four? Did you finish three? No, <laughs> I'm close. I got so caught up in that stupid game. I oh, ran around killing uh-huh. animals, making purses or whatever he had to make to carry stuff. <laughs> yeah, like pouches. It, and- how? Yeah, it's like go kill a Komodo dragon to make a bag. Or kill 20 of them or whatever it was. I'm running around this dang island. Yeah. Being chased by alligators, you know. And oh, then you jump in the water. The water. Sharks. Oh, my God. That the that game scared the crap out of me. The first time mm-hmm. I got attacked by a shark. Oh, my goodness. That was not- And I wasn't into the other Far Cries. Far Cry 3 either. was the first one that hooked me. Yeah. The and others, now it's no. like mm-hmm. I can't stop thinking about what Far Cry 4 could be. Yeah, I'm, 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 I can't wait to see what they do with it. I hope. It's what did you good. think of that cover art? I didn't see the cover art. You didn't? I'm it so behind. It had the little guy with the, a dude with like a purple suit mm-hmm. and he had crazy blonde hair and he was on this old broken down throne and he had his hand over another man's head, kind of like pushing him down, kneeling to the ground. Uh oh. That and is- it got all this controversy that it was this white dude who was oh, on the throne pushing down this yeah. other guy and just like, you know, racist. Oh. That was the whole thing that blew up on the internet. How did and, like, I the developer not see said, that? I don't know how you didn't see this, but well, the developer said that, first of all, he's not white. What is he? Just I, I didn't see what he was, but he looks... He looks pretty white. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm pulling up the picture now. I'm trying to get a, a bigger. Let me choose here. It takes place in the Himalayas. Okay. Uh, I see. So what that you could mean. probably answer some of the questions if you know you knew that region. So he's he's got kind of a cool haircut. So, it's it's like a Saints Row dude fell yeah. into yeah. I was Far just Cry thinking four. he's got like, a rocket launcher. What? Where's and the an AK forty seven there? And he's got his yeah. blue pimp daddy outfit. Yeah, yeah. it's the president. <laughs> huh? I wonder what this is going to be about. I don't know, but it looks. I am, that is one game I am super excited about. It. Yeah, same here. More. Yeah, I I got so into this game, and I couldn't believe it when you you haven't finished it. I know you need to stay focused, you you, you know, like set rules. Like I'm not going to get sidetracked today. I'm going to focus on these missions. I think I'm like 80% in the campaign. Oh yeah. But I got so caught up. I mean, I'm almost done with all my purses and stuff like that. So, (laughs) and the hang gliders, like getting all those little achievements. Oh yeah. I got all my achievements. Yeah. Yeah. If I was you, flying around a hang glider for probably three hours one day, just trying to do like fall into like this free fall into the lake. Yeah, I I chose the route of YouTube for direction. 
<laughs> yeah. They tell you I exactly do. where to go, where to jump, when to let go, everything. So really? Okay, I got to do that. I was just all like, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, I know better. <laughs> I know that I would just fail and I'd have to climb up the whole mountain again, find the glider. Because <laughs> the achievements for what? Dropping into the water from a certain amount of feet up in the in the air? Yeah, I think I got it. Okay. Or maybe I didn't. If that if that if I didn't get it, that will tell you that I just gave up and put the controller down and never picked it up. <laughs> so what do you think? you're looking at the cover art? Yeah. Or is it so are you excited does it make well, you excited about it. the game or? Yeah, I mean it's interesting. I can't imagine who this guy is. I know. And he's you see he's sitting on a, a Mayan statue of some sort or mm-hmm. some sort of statue and the head's gone. I don't know. That, that they're gonna we're definitely gonna learn more about that guy. Yeah. And that game's not supposed to be released till the beginning of 2015. So oh, 2014 really? is what a tease. I know. 2014 oh, yeah. is gonna be a long year when you hear all these games are being pushed to 2015. Yeah. That and on that note, so some games have already they've already announced I think they don't want people to get let down at E3, so they're telling us now, like, <laughs> hey, um, yeah, this, these few games, we're not going to have them till next year. Sorry. What so, games? Are you talking? What games well, okay, about? so you know me. I'm an Xbox girl, and that's all I do. If I don't get achievements, I don't play it. But last year, a game at E3 caught my eye. It's called The Order 1888. And well, it's I don't- a... It's a PS4 exclusive. I'll put a trail. I'll put the trailer on the notes so you can see it. And it's a PS4 exclusive. And they've just said that it's not coming out till 2015. But it's a steampunk style. Okay, mm-hmm. it's a third person cover shooter. And um, I was reading an article in uh, Games Radar lately. And they said it's kind of like Sony's answer to Xbox's Gears of War. So you're shooting, you take cover, you're fighting these like animal monster things. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a steampunk. And the what caught me was just the style. It just was very, I don't know, the art, the art direction in it, I guess, is what caught my eye. The visuals are just stunning. And when you're playing the game, um, you know, E3, we didn't, we just saw like a little cgi cutscene, you know but now uh, i'll put that out too there's uh, a new gameplay trailer to kind of show what's coming zen it looks amazing it looks like you're playing the cutscene. really yeah it's really that <sighs> good and like in the cut in the uh the little gameplay thing the guy's shooting some weird gun and the explosions and stuff they're just so visually awesome it's just crazy okay you have to put that in the show notes because yeah. i am Really interested because there's, yeah, you said it's a PS4 exclusive, yes. So, I need somebody near me needs to get a PS4 so I can come over and play it because it looks awesome. And I have been mentioning I want a PS4. If they, I've heard a rumor that they were going to release The Last of Us on the PS4. If they do that, maybe I think I might have to buy one. I will, you know, Ryan, I will split one. There you go. Splitting one makes sense, cause. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna. I would. You, we would you have could to have your one. your Xbox for uh, multiplayer, and then that for like single player exclusives that mm-hmm. only they get. Because um, I used to be a a PlayStation fan. Yeah, I did I too. Love. I had a PlayStation One and a PlayStation Two, and I love those machines. I did too. And then I switched to Xbox and. Once you have your friends on a certain system, it's hard to change. So yeah. I think Xbox Live was the big selling point and Halo. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah, Halo, Halo Halo is definitely what sold it on, you know, yeah. meeting everybody on Halo. Mm-hmm. So um so another game on the same trend from last E3 that I was super excited about and just got delayed till 2015. Um, it's an Xbox exclusive called Quantum Break. Oh, yeah, that had a really strange trailer. Yeah, so they haven't said, I don't think they've officially said it's going to be delayed, but the rumor is it's going to be delayed. <laughs> so, but in this That's game, crazy. like, time is breaking down, and 
I guess the game blurs the line between television and gaming. And so you're like playing the game, making active choices. And it's, I guess it's somehow tied into a TV show and your choices affect the TV show. You end up actually kind of, I guess, molding the TV show and somehow the TV show might affect how you play. It's very confusing. Is each TV show geared towards the one viewer or is the TV show changing according to the community that's playing the game well, I have no as a idea. whole. I have no idea. I don't know. So that's confused. Like the whole defiance tried to do that. And I don't know if they were successful at that. Oh, you know, they do a pretty good job. They kind of like, like right now I haven't played it yet. They're, they're doing something in the game. That's going to tie into the first season uh, opener, you know, hmm. so it kind of ties in, but this sounds like it's more dynamic. Like it's tailored to you. And what you've done. But I don't know how. But and that's, that's yeah. pushed back to 2015? It's like a rumor. Supposedly? Okay. But yeah, the graphics on it look amazing. And it looks like they've spent a lot of time on the story and characters. And I don't know. Oh, and here it says, uh, it says, how you play the game shapes a personalized version of the television show. So that's what I was saying. And then it personalized says. Personalized version. So that means, that to yeah. me says. And then it says, watching the show gives you strategies and insights that will impact the way you play the game. And it helps you discover unique content within the game. I think we're going to be seeing more and more of this blending where gaming becomes more of a mainstream form of entertainment for everybody. Yeah, I love it. You know, they say that the the gaming industry is now, like, making more money than, like, TVs and movies. Mm-hmm. Wow. So. It's just, it's just crazy. I mean, in five, 10 years, what is the term gamer going to be, mm-hmm. you know, anymore? is it going to be blended? It's going to take a certain type of game that brings in like more of the community that, you know, more people like my friends that are afraid of um, analog sticks. How do you get those people over? Right. To watch a TV show and play a game at the same, you know. Yeah, it's just crazy. I love it. I love all the changes. That's exciting. I, I have to. I hope they have more on that then. Just yeah, now that's you're interested of this whole theory that they have. Yeah, I'll I'll repost the trailer from E three from last year on there, and then I can't wait to see. Surely they're going to talk about it. I want to see more. Have you, have you heard any? Speaking of past E E three, have you heard anything more about the division or the crew? Oh man. Okay, so. The division, I know it was delayed till 2015. Um, I'm really bombed. But that one's a that's a third person shooter also. And yeah. it, it's set in a post apocalyptic New York. That one For looks a so third person shooter, it looks pretty interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah, that I, I cannot wait for that. I like that. That's the one that's um where you can be on a cell phone or on a tablet mm-hmm. and interact with people's games. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like sending can... a, a airstrike or something. And that looks really cool. And I'm, yeah. I'm guessing that's something we're going to see more and more. Probably at this E3, I bet you there's going to be a few games that start pushing and melding these two um, devices together where you can be right. on an iPhone or on an Xbox. Yeah, well, you know, and even the Watch Dogs does that where I can be racing my car and you can get on there and trigger things to happen to try to wreck me. And Do I have to own Watch Dogs, no. though? No, you just download their companion app. I don't think it and was I working And I don't have yesterday. to own the game to no. interact with your game? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. We have to try that because yeah. if that's true, that would be Come cool. Come mess with me. <laughs> yeah, because that might make me, like, you know, be like, all right, now I got to buy the game because I got to hack you. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, you mentioned the crew. Man, mm-hmm. Ubisoft is killing it right now. They're all these games, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Division, um, the crew, Watch Dogs. I mean, they're on it right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so the crew is going to come out on PS4 and Xbox One. And the developer, they're calling this an MMORPG. You know, so massively So it's a little bit like um, that old, that game Test Drive. Yes, I never way. played that. No, you, you I have love a special, Test Drive Unlimited. Your heart just, yeah. 
Um, GameStop is showing the release date as September 30th, but I can't find like an official thing on their website. Yeah, I bet you that's going to get pushed. Oh, I know. I hope not. Um, so it's set. It's a massive open world set in the United States. Okay. And so they're going to have like all kinds of different venues where you're, where either you're doing like street races, circuit races, cross country, dirt, like off-road racing. And you're going to go through like cities like uh, Detroit, Miami, New York, Las Vegas, Chicago, like all these cities. And they're all connected with highways and stuff. And you're supposed to seamlessly be able to join in and out of other games, kind of like Destiny, where you mm-hmm. you run in, maybe you race with some people or like, hey, there's Zen. We can go drive around together and look for collectibles or I mean... You know, the last Need for Speed, they tried to do that. And to me, it was a major fail. (laughs) Yeah, and they tried to do that in the Test Drive Unlimited, Mm -hmm. where you would be driving down a street and all of a sudden you would see somebody else, a real person in their car would drive by. Mm -hmm. So, and then you could interact and have like races right then and like challenge each other. Did people play that? I mean, did there really people online? Yeah, you would. It would, it was really like laggy at times, Mm. but there would be times when you'd be driving all of a sudden you'd see this whole like gang almost of like 10 cars just fly by. Oh, that would be fun. And and like, and I can, that's what I'm hoping that this game does right. Yeah. And they said, uh, it says that you can crush rival crews. And so I'm like, Ooh, wouldn't that be cool if we could have clan support? We could have all the Girl Tribe gaming girls rolling down. <laughs> that would be fun. Yep. Yeah, that's. I hope we. See, I. I bet you they're gonna show more. Yeah, I want to see more at of that. E three for the for the crew. Yeah, I mean, even if it comes out later this year, they're still gonna show something about it. Surely, because mm-hmm. oh man. Is there anything else from last year that was mentioned that you're kind of still um, hoping to see more? I think that's really the main, the main yeah. ones I'm really looking forward to. I'm yeah, sure same here. The, the division and the crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, got to give us more information on that since you talked about it last year and we haven't heard a whole lot. Right, right. Since, but um, in Fallout Four, it's rumored that they're going to make an appearance at E3. Oh, good. Sure. And yeah, that's one game I didn't play, um, a lot of. Oh, you but it's s- one of those games that I would love to get into now. Wait, did you say Far Cry 4? No, no, no Fallout. Oh, Fallout 4. Oh, no, man. yeah. I've got that it's- game sitting downstairs. The third one. Never opened it yet. Oops. Man, so if they do if they do <laughs> show it at E3 and it looks amazing, 10 bucks, you're going to be running down there and opening that game. But I, I, I got to play this. I want to <laughs> play it. I've just heard it's really involved. And yeah, I it just, yeah, I'm so I played in- it and it looked, there was a lot going on. Ah, uh, we gotta play it. But it looked like, a, I, yeah, I should go grab his, yeah, same here. Okay, if the trailer, <laughs> if they do show it at this E3 and it looks amazing, you and I will play Fallout okay. 3. Okay, sounds like a plan. Yeah. And that, that I don't know a whole, whole lot about that game, except that it's taking place in the city of Boston after, you know, everything's gone to heck. So isn't that every game nowadays? <laughs> Everything goes to heck and then they make we play video games. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of everything going, have you heard about a game called Evolve? Yes. And I know a lot of people are excited about it. Yeah. I haven't I seen a know, whole Is lot. it about aliens? Well, I guess we need to learn. Um, I know. Okay. So the people that made the Left 4 Dead series, mm-hmm. they made this. And, you know, we had a lot of fun with Love for Dead. Yeah, that was a blast. <laughs> so this, if so you got four people, and then you've got, like, this monster thing, and then it's all online, all, online only. So in the game, mm-hmm. like, I think the monster guy, whatever he's called, I'm sure I'm, like, totally, he, like, runs off and gets, like, a head start, and then the game starts for the other four people. And they have to, like, track him, find him, and try to kill him. So it's like an extreme game of playing tag? Um, tag where you kill each other? Yeah, kind of. But yeah, I mean, so it's kind of like... Eh, you just 
You have one thing you're trying to kill. I'm sure there's a lot more to it. But no, I mean, like, when I say that, like, tag or hide and seek, I think that's awesome. Okay. Because it's a game you grew up playing. Yeah. And, like, to put a spin on it that may involve aliens and guns. Yeah, it would be more like hide and seek. Yeah. Yeah. Because he has to go run off. And and I guess, like, the longer he can be away from the the people, he can, like, kind of get stronger and stuff. So then it's more of a challenge. Oh, so he's evolving the entire time? Yeah. Oh, the name. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the hunters, the hunters that you get to be, there's different classes. Like, I know there's one that's like a trapper, support, assault, and medic. I'll be the medic, I'm sure. I'm always the medic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta be running around saving everybody. That That's how I roll. But, uh... <laughs> Anyways, I think that could be interesting. I'd like to see more about it. Yeah, I don't... That sounds inter- interesting. Oh, I was reading um, a couple days ago. I started thinking about Star Wars Battle Battlefront. Yeah, we had so much fun. <laughs> yes, and and then I, I thought the game was canceled. But last I read is that they were going to possibly be at E3 and showing off their, the new Star Wars Battlefront. Ooh. <gasps> I know, excited. and it sounds. What was what? What did you like about the Star Wars Battlefront series? Like, hmm. what made it so amazing? Well, for one, it was one of the first games on Xbox Live for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's Star Wars, and I think and- it's like one of those games like that you could jump into one of the vehicles. And drive it around and shoot. And then you had all these, you had real characters and then some AIs. Yeah. The and there was this massive war going on. It N- seemed huge Never at the ending. Time. Yeah. Have you played it fairly recently? Uh, last time I played it was probably two, yeah. three years ago. Yeah, same here. And the last time I played it, I was like, oh, it's. Yeah. But at the time, it was really, really good. Because it was something new and different. So what makes it interesting, like with this new one, how are they going to make it new and different so that it's, they can't do, they can't lift what was in Star Wars Battlefront, the first and the second one, and just drop it and then make it look pretty because it won't work. No, not anymore. Um, You know, they've gone back and forth with this game so many times. We're making it, we're not, it's canceled, it's on. Um, the last time I saw anything about it, to me, it looked like I was, it looked like Mass Effect 3. Mm. That's what it looked like to me. Interesting. But I don't know. I'm excited. I didn't know about that, Sin. Yeah, I was surprised. I mean, it could still be a rumor. Yeah. Like, everybody just hoping. But I'm hoping. <laughs> I, yeah, I, it's one of those games that's like, eh, maybe we should leave it behind because I have, you know, where it belongs. No, no, we should not leave it behind. Okay, yeah. If they if it comes out, I'm sure we're gonna be buying it. Yeah, like, along with Dragon Age, the new Dragon Age. Oh yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. I can't wait. That's one game that looks good. Like, uh, what's the I name? just got into the Dragon Age after you guys after playing Mass Effect three. I started playing the second one. Mm, yeah, so, so good. The new one's gonna be what? Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that, so I got hooked on the first Dragon Age right away. I think Mm -hmm. I played it at least four times all the way through. And I never, I hate repetition, but I love that game. I love the world that it's in. Yeah. I love what Bioware did with Mass Effect and Dragon Age. Two totally different worlds that you can just get hooked on. Yeah, yeah. Now, the second Dragon Age... It was like I had troubles adjusting to the changes in the combat system at the time. I'm wondering now if I go back, if I'd be like, oh, this is so much better. Um, I don't I had a hard time getting used. I remember the combat system being really difficult. Yeah, I loved it for me to get used to. Hmm. I I, I really hope they show more about that. Do you know when it comes out? Have you? Mm -mm. I thought it came up. This year, I think. I thought it came out this fall. Yeah, I think it is. So they'll be definitely showing that. How are we going to play all these games? I don't know. This fall is going to be 
crazy. It's, I'm going to have to quit my job. That is a great idea. To play games. Then yeah. I'm going to pay for them. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we talked about game. Is there any other games you want to talk about? Um, Before we talk about some other hopes, like, that we hope to see out of E3? Well, I do want to see a little bit more about the new Borderlands, the, the pre-sequel. But. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, but, you know, I can wait. I'll be okay. I'm not going to die. They'll show it. I yeah. guarantee they would definitely show that. I mean, they were at PAX East. I'm sure they'll be E3. And I'm sure Telltale is going to be showing off Game of Th- some of their Game of Thrones. Oh. And they're spin on the Borderlands the game. Bo- that, that I'm going to play. I can't, that. Yeah, that'll be cool to hear. I, I mean, Telltale is always interested in what they do. Yeah. Um, and I'm also interested to see Nintendo won't be at E3, but they're going to be doing their own own thing showing off what they have planned yeah they and don't need to go to i mean i don't <laughs> i nintendo has has a place in my heart you know they're like my old friend yeah that i love talking to even though we don't have a whole lot in common anymore well, that's a good analogy yeah i know thanks <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> pretty well said right there um so i'm just hoping that there's something that i see from nintendo that says i gotta i gotta have it yeah I, and it could be pokemon snap I was playing this old game, Pokemon oh. Snap, you know, where you just take pictures of Pokemon. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. this should be redone. Yeah. You know, I played Pokemon. I bought a Game Boy, I think, just for Pokemon. See, I didn't get into that. I tried. I just I couldn't did. get into it. But yeah, I, I want I should. I want to go back and revisit what Nintendo's doing, you know, with um man i need to metro- look at that. i loved metroid growing up and i loved you know oh, mario I into that mario yeah 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 so it's like i just i want to go back to my roots at I was some more point a, i was more of a sega girl oh uh, so sonic Se- yeah sega genesis yeah I, didn't, I tried to like sonic but he was just running around i was like it's what fast. am i doing spinning around sonic speed. yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> I was I was wondering if there was other things you were looking forward to or hoping to see coming out of E3. Like I personally would love to see some kind of way that we could rent games digitally. Ooh, that is a great idea. I didn't even think like, of that. I would maybe Gamefly would do that because then I don't have to wait a week for my game. Well, yeah, that's a great idea because you <laughs> They could have some sort of way to digitally like deactivate the game if depending on how you rent it, whether if it's play till you're, you know, done or whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's a great idea. Yeah. And it could just be like maybe you could rent it, but only play it for an hour. Yeah. Something like, you know, just I mean, I don't think they could have digital rentals where you could play the entire game and then be done. (laughs) Like, you know, I think there'd have to be certain rules. An hour or two set on it. Or like you or could s- rent it like uh, kind of like Redbox where you have to have the game back in 24 hours or you get charged another fee. So like yeah. you could rent it for 24 hours for like $8. And then if um, probably, it's probably more like $10. So you rent it for $10 and then after 24 hours is up, it'll deactivate or you pay another $5 each day, each additional day or something like that. Yeah, it seems like they they can do something. Although I with wouldn't that do that. Oh, shoot. By the time I spend fifteen dollars, yeah, <laughs> like, I'm going to be spending more money on rentals than games I would normally. Yeah, it would be cool uh-huh. if they could do like a monthly rental subscription. So like you could rent one game at a time. Hmm. You know, with um, that, that'd be that would be that sweet. would be cool. So I, what do you think? For some reason, this is making me think about. Uh, Microsoft said that they were going to do something that has never been done before in an E3. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so what li- do you think that's going to be? I don't know. I was listening to Major Nelson's podcast. And I'm working uh-huh. out. And by the way, I've been working out a lot, Zen. But uh, anyway. That is awesome. Your whole um, GamerFit <laughs> yeah, on Gamer Twitter. Fit. You, can, yeah. you can follow Jen at <laughs> GamerFit on Twitter. Thanks for the plug, Zen. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I'm just trying to show that a gamer, an average person, with not the greatest of health, can get in shape. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm listening to Major Nelson, and he says, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, we're going to do something. 
at E3 that's never been done before. And then he goes, ever. What is it? I don't know, but for some reason, I think it involves tigers. Tigers? <laughs> I, that is what is Zoo going on. Is like, already out. Out. <laughs> what are they going to do that's never been done before? I don't know. Um, I feel like it's going to be silly. And we're all going to be like, really? That's what it was? Um... Oh. I, I don't know, but it's like then there's like, oh my god, what are they gonna I mean I know last year they brought when they did the Forza five announcement and they brought that car. I think it was was it the McLaren they brought up? But it was like there was only like two of that car in the world and it was like a big deal to get that car there. But if yeah. you don't know cars, you don't know that. You don't care. I don't care. So yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. Mm, you don't it's gotta be ideas. something that maybe involves like a huge amount of people. Something. Mm. I wonder, you think it would have to be something really big that has to clearly tie in with a product. So mm -hmm. it's got to be something that ties in with Halo 5. That's my yeah. guess. Maybe it involves like a bunch of people online at a certain time celebrating something. That's showing the power of the Xbox. Or, maybe. But how would they keep that a secret? I, I don't, don't know. know. Maybe they do some interactive thing with the Xbox yeah. app that's streaming. Ooh, that would be cool. Like, hmm. Or there's like or a they're huge... Gonna give, they're going to give away something free to all Xbox owners. Yeah. Well, Announcement I think, of a free game to all, like, I think a brand new free that. game. Or, I don't know. I can't wait. I don't know. June I know. I'm excited. If they say something like... Never been done before. Yeah, right, you got it my better attention. be good. It's got to be good. Ever, <laughs> <I'm>, ever. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be the big announcement, but I'm also hoping that they talk about these shows coming to Xbox. What is it called? Uh, um, original. Xbox, or Xbox Originals. Yes. I'm hoping that they talk more about that and when game when things are going to be coming out. Maybe show some trailers. I'm sure they shows. will because I think some of the stuff's supposed to start in June, and mm -hmm. so being that it's June 9th, Kind of, I mean, surely they'll kick that off. But hmm. Hmm. do you think there's going to be anything with the um, Oculus Rift? I don't know. Since Facebook has now bought it, I yeah. mean, I, that's going to be weird. Like, is Facebook going to be now have a presence at E3 with gaming? <laughs> I, I don't. Probably they probably will. And I, I'm also guessing that there's going to be other people that are coming out with these whole. Um, goggles that immerse you in a game like the oculus riff does i don't you know you're gonna kill me i don't really know anything about oculus rift i don't i mean uh, what i see kind of like okay i don't want to do that i don't want to be have this thing on my head and looking around that's i just like is that, that doesn't that seem is? relaxing to me i huh? don't i don't maybe i just need to bing oculus rift i don't i haven't really i knew that they bought them but i don't really know anything People watch this. Watch a trailer involves like this guy, this scuba guy, and he he has this, you know you're wearing the real guys wearing the headset, mm -hmm. but there's this great white in this in the video game. He's trying to get at the character, and like you're looking around, and just it looks he can turn around and look around and look up and down, look at his hands, move his hands, huh? And it all it all just looks so real and freaking cool i i want to try it so it's like virtual reality yeah oh, okay. and like there's a, another thing on youtube with this this woman that was dying from cancer and she wanted to go outside mm -hmm. so um oculus riff sent the daughter one of the systems mm -hmm. and the, the lady got to try it out and was like amazed of how you know just simple things like being able to walk around it in a yeah. valley where there's mountains and butterflies oh. and being so submersed. So it's, I, I am so interested to see where they go with this technology for people that can't get up and move easily or just, you know, regular gamers like us. Yeah, that's crazy. If you could, if there was one game that you would want to be submersed into that you could move around and move your head and look all around, what game would you want to um, go into? <laughs> <laughs> what do you oh god i hope we're not thinking about the same game probably oh probably not i'm my mind goes straight to tomb raider <laughs> Lord oh, i didn't think about that one oh. i was thinking saints bro but i don't third 
Oh my gosh. That was ridiculous. We had so much fun in that game. Yeah. And it was just like, I don't want to go into a game where there's aliens and I'm screaming and like, you know, I don't want to go into Halo. Mm -hmm. I don't want the Covenant running or the Flood running after me. (laughs) Although that would be cool. But (laughs) You know, back... Mass Effect. (gasps) Oh my God. Can you imagine being on the Citadel and being able to look around and feeling like... Yes. You know that you're really there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yes, uh, I think it was Lost did an, a little quick interview with me once, and I had said that if I could live, you know, she wanted to know what what gaming universe would you ever want to live in if you could pick one. I, I'm pretty sure that's what I picked was Mass Effect. If I said if I got to be in a cool uniform. Oh yeah, definitely. It's all about the uniform. You don't want to be. I don't want to be just regular me. <laughs> <laughs> would you want to be human or would you want to be like one of the different species? No, I'll be human. I'm fine. Yeah, with same that. here. I like humans. <laughs> well, I like some humans. <laughs> yeah, some of them. Yeah. So they get, yeah, I'm guessing we're gonna see some of some more things like Oculus, um, Oculus Rift at E3. Cool. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, some virtual reality stuff I did back in the early '90s. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw that Zen because you were a little younger, but you go to the I'm mall. Not, you make me sound like I'm a baby. I well, I'm 39. I'm old now, almost. I'll be old in November. So you do this virtual reality, like they had them set up at the mall, and it was like really expensive, and it ended up being like five dollars a minute. And mm-hmm. I know one thing I did was like the shooting thing. And I was just like turning around in circles and pretending. Was it to yellow, shoot. like a yellow helmet that you brought down on top of you? It was, a, yeah, it was a helmet. I can't remember what color. I think I might have done some of the same thing. Like you brought this helmet down onto you, then you held it, held it. You had to, you had to hold it down onto you. Mm-hmm. And then we, oh gosh, my cat's meowing. I heard. <laughs> I thought it was mine. Oh, no, that's that's my cat. And you had to move all around and like. You might have been playing somewhat of the same game where you were playing the older version of it. And I was, you know, five years later, maybe playing the, the newer version. <laughs> yeah. And then they had another one where you were in a uh, like fighter jet cockpit and you mm-hmm. you could look around in any direction, you know, and see see what was going on. But and did you think that was cool back then? I no, I didn't. I oh, was, my gosh. You were a hater back then. I was. I was not impressed. I was like, for five bucks you know and it it was real bad <laughs> i don't i think i'm gonna you're gonna watch this that shark video okay i'll check it and out you're gonna want it so okay we have been talking for quite a bit about e3 how about we wrap it up and talk mm-hmm. about five we mentioned the five games we would love to see e3 they could be games that are already announced and we know they're coming rumors or just you know pie in the sky dreams yeah so, well, obviously, once E3 happens, I'm sure we're going to have a whole list of what's cool, what happened, you know? Mm-hmm. But we don't know what the things are yet that aren't known. So, based on games that I've heard about, <laughs> I had to have my disclaimer. The things <laughs> I'm most excited about, I would have to say my number one is probably Destiny. Mm-hmm. Do you have a number one? Or are they all equal? Uh, I'm excited about Destiny, but I'm uh, most of my games haven't really been announced, and they're probably mostly <laughs> pie in the sky games. Uh oh. What else? Tell me another one. I want to, a Tomb Raider sequel. Hmm. You know, and I think I bet you Square Enix is gonna. I I lay down at night and I last thing I whisper to myself is, please let there be a Tomb Raider sequel. I want the night one to my only concern is that i don't think sales wise it did that great no it didn't and um i mean their multiplayer was weak oh my and you know games like that just leave the multiplayer off nobody plays yeah. it it's just and i think they were expecting so much mm-hmm. i don't know what companies are thinking or what they thought that game was going to do but I do think the the remake on Xbox One, I think that was pretty successful. I saw a lot of people playing that. Yeah, and it's a great game. We've said it before, but if you haven't played Tomb Raider, 
go play it. I yeah. don't care if you're a boy that doesn't want to play as a female character. Forget it. Go play that game. Yeah. It was really, really good. Agreed. <laughs> so. And then second on my list was I want to see a Mass Effect 4. And we know Shepard, Commander Shepard is gone. But the the Mass Effect series isn't done yet. Yeah, I would love to see a new Mass Effect. Yep, but if I will Bioware cry. is coming out with a new Dragon Age, mm -hmm. that might be a little while. I think if they were to show Mass Effect, it would just be like a quick little 30 second, you know. Like a teaser. Don't forget it. Yeah, and it wouldn't be released till 2016. Would be... I'd be fine with that. Just show us yeah. and te tease us, please. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, my another one of my games is... Halo 5, duh. Mm-hmm. Is that on Definitely. your list? It's not on my list that I wrote down, but it <laughs> oh. is. <laughs> All right. On my list is I want um, a, a glimpse of there being another Saints Row. Another Saints Row. Yep. Not, I like the Saints Row, the what, the fourth one wasn't. It wasn't as good. It wasn't as that great, third. but the third, I want. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, the fourth, I mean, I would have preferred, when they said I was going to be president, mm -hmm. I wanted to be pulling up to the White House, being like, yo, and just like <laughs> being able to live in that world versus this digital version that's being attacked by aliens, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like, I Let's just keep it real. It. Keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Um, see, I'm boring. All my stuff we've already talked about. The Division. I want to yeah. hear more about that really bad. I think we definitely will, for sure. Yeah. And uh, we, we talked about it, but uh, Battlefront Star Wars, I want to have some hope that yeah. that game won't be messed up. Yeah, agreed. And um, lastly on my list was Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Whoa. It's a, uh -huh. Did you play that on? It was a game I played on. Uh, I don't know if I actually. PlayStation. I might have. I don't know. I think I played it. Growing up, I don't know a whole lot about the series of The Legacy of Cain, mm -hmm. but I remember that game. It sticks out in my memory as being one of the coolest games. Like, yeah. um, the character just had all these cool little powers that you could, like, go through walls and take huh. souls and stuff like that. Um, and it's one of those games, like, I would love to see redone so I can go back to it. <laughs> yeah. Understand the game. Hmm just because i it's like i said it's a game i don't know a whole lot about but for some reason i spent countless hours playing, playing that game <laughs> growing up yeah it's funny the the things that you play when you're younger they stick with yeah. you yeah so that's what i mean it'll be interesting once e3 is over and we chat again about this yeah but, um, i'm hoping i'm hoping to see some new innovations from you know, Xbox. I want to mm -hmm. see something new. I don't know what, just something. I don't know. Like I don't even like know. Like an app or... Yeah, some new way to use my Xbox or... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like with Phil Spencer, okay? With him being mm -hmm. in charge, he is all about the games. And mm -hmm. he his philosophy is if you make good games, people will come. And then all the, like entertainment and all that stuff that will happen but you got to get the gamers first so yeah and one thing that would be cool if you saying that made me think it'd be nice to have an easy an app or something on xbox that is geared towards your clan so that on your gamer tag it would be clear to be like this is the clan we're in and go here to get more information on xbox about our group or yeah. something or even just uh having your old profile where you could have a little bio yeah that i mean yeah i've There's heard things that, from the 360 that I, I miss yeah simple little things i've heard they're working on improving the uh you know your character profile yeah to make it more social yeah you know you know i know i, oh, I can't believe i'm saying this but when I was on the Xbox 360, I complained nonstop about having a hundred friend limit, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, I still, I, if I want to add someone, I've got to delete someone, you know, on the 360. Mm -hmm. But on the one, now I can have, 
you know, like a thousand people. And it's like, I almost feel less connected with everyone because I have more people. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Like the bios just alone. When you get a friend request from somebody, it's like, who are you? I know. Hello. hello. If you are going to send a friend request, you should send a message that says, hey, I met you the other day and I just wanted to say hi or something. Yeah. I don't know what, but don't just send a message that says hi and don't just <laughs> send a friend request. If I don't know who you are, I'm not going to friend you back. Yeah. If you're some random, you know, like I'll get people from like Twitch streams and they'll have the same name from their Twitch. And I'll, I'll, uh-huh. I'll, yeah, I remember them and I'll go ahead and friend them back or they'll say, hey, uh, you know, I saw you on the Twitch on your Twitch stream. Will you add me back? And I'm like, sure. But just, hey, <laughs> that's my little rant. I don't yeah, know then who you, you go, are. Nit and deny. Yeah, I think they get mad or upset because then they'll start sending me messages. Add oh. me. Add me. <laughs> Add me, please. Oh, oh then the bagging happens. Oh, poor funny. little baby. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be exciting uh, what happens. And what the big announcement is from Xbox yeah. that's I never been know. done before. Or, yeah, it may not be an announcement. It may just be something or, they do. Yeah, something. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it involves a tiger, like I said. But that's the only thing tiger. I got. Tiger. That'd be cool. <laughs> but, well, well, thank you. I think we're all... You ready yes. to wrap it up, Jen? Yeah. So after E3, we'll have another episode talking about what we thought of E3. And in the meantime, if you guys have any questions or... You want to talk about E3, you know, what, what your impressions were or things you're hoping for. You should send us your questions. We've got a, a contact page on girltribegaming.com. And fill it out and let us know what you're thinking. Yay. Yeah. And thank you so much for listening. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Z McLeod. That's Z-M-A-C-L-E-O-D. And you can follow Jen on Twitter at Moto Girl. That's M-O-T-O underscore G-R-R-L. And like I said, check us out on our website and our Twitter is at Girl Tribe Gaming. And that's all one word. And thanks for listening. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See ya.